Hi, it's Wanda from Melinda Craft and today I'm going to show you how to make this really neat canvas bag. Now we're not going to line this bag, so we want to have some nice seams on the inside. So we've done a French seam, which is not scary to do at all, but it gives a nice neat finish on the inside and a nice seam line on the outside. Canvas is a good heavy material, so you don't need to line it. But I've also made one here from a sturdy tea towel that I had. Same effect and the same, uh, the same nice finish on the inside. So let's get started and make them. So what you're going to need is some canvas and we've cut this piece for our bag at 34 and a half by 15 and a half and I've also cut two handles they're five inches by the width of fabric now this was canvas so it's a lot wider than your normal quilting fabric this piece is actually 55 inches long so but I've cut two but I won't be using that entire length when I've sewn it all together but just to be aware of that so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler and we're going to place it the quarter inch line along the top edge of our bag okay and we're going to draw take a water soluble pen or a friction pen as I have here and we're going to draw a line across that quarter inch mark then I'm going to move the ruler down and I'm going to take the one inch line and just place it on that mark we've just drawn and I'm going to draw an inch line across there okay then we're going to fold that quarter inch under and iron it now you'll find that canvas tends to want to do its own thing but do the best you can then we're going to fold in on our inch line that'll be folded under and then we'll fold in on our inch line and we'll top stitch along both ends. Now I've already done one end to show you what it's like. Okay, so we have our quarter inches folded in nicely and then I've just top stitched right along there and then top stitch across the top edge. So I'll go and uh, do the other end now and then I'll come back and show you the next step. So I've made a start on my handles as you can see. I've joined the two strips together with a quarter inch seam and pressed it open and then what we do is we take our two ends, so I'll, I'll start from here, Take the two sides and fold them together and put a nice crisp press mark down the centre and open them up and bring the sides in and press them again. I'm really lucky I've got Paula who does all this for me and she does a beautiful job. The next thing is then to just bring these two sides together so they meet and that's going to form our handle. So our next step will be to determine how long we want our handle. So now we need to determine the length of our handle. So just remember that our handle has got to go all the way around our bag because we put, we're sewing it right way around. So what I'm going to do is I take my handle and where we have the seam line, so where the join was, I'm just going to fold it there. Now my handle I've determined is going to be 104 inches. So I'm just going to fold this piece in half and then measure it at 52 inches and then I'm going to cut that excess off. And I'm doing it this way so that the the excess comes off both sides, not just one side of the strap. Okay, so I've cut my excess fabric off and I have my handle at the length I want it. Now I'm going to just grab the loop at the end here and just run it through my fingers to make sure that I have the two pieces together nicely. And I'm going to open them up and I'm going to just put the right sides together and I'm going to sew them together with a quarter inch seam and I'll press it open and then I'll just refold it all together. So I'll go and do that now. So I've sewn my hand all together. Uh, I've used a quarter inch seam as you can see here and then it's all ready just to fold it back in nicely. So now we need to know where to place our handles. So what we've done is drawn a line, find the halfway mark of your bag and draw a line and then we're going to draw two lines down either side of our bag and they're going to be four and a half inches in from the edge and that's where we're going to be placing our handles. Okay, so I've started placing my handles on my bag and I've made sure that I've got my seam lines on that line that we drew originally where our halfway mark is and I'm just lining up the handles along this other line that we drew so they're, they're both on both sides, they're going to be there so I'm just pinning them, I'll just pin them quickly, I'll readjust them before I sew them but just to show you what we're doing. Okay, so they're pinned. Now then, just to check that everything's okay, just pick that up at the middle and you can see here my handles are all going to meet and they're all the same size. 
So just do that to do a quick check before you consider doing any sewing. So now I'm happy with how that's going to look. So what I do now, so I'm going to start here at the bottom of the bag, so where the seam lines are, and I'm going just before that, and I'm going to do a bit of a back stitch. I'm going to do an eighth of an inch top stitch, coming all the way around, all the way around the excess handle at the end, down the other side, around the excess at the bottom, and I'll come back to here. And then I'll do the same thing on the outside edge. So I'm going to go all the way around again using an eighth of an inch. So I'll go and do that and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So here we have our handle sewn on and it's not quite a bag yet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to place it down on our table and we're going to put our right sides facing out. So just as it is. We're not doing what we normally do where we turn the right sides together. They're going to be on the outside. And we're going to just line up the edge and we're going to sew a quarter of an inch down each side. So I'll go and do that and I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so I've sewn my quarter inch here on the outside of the bag. Now that looks really ratty so we don't want that so we need to do something about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to turn the bag inside out and we're going to sew another seam down that line. So we're going to just give it a good press to start with before you start. But we're going to get that all nicely down and we'll sew in at about 3 eighths of an inch because we want to cover that quarter inch seam that we sewed on the outside. So when we sew that seam down it's going to cover that, that seam that was on the outside. Okay so I've sewn down each side of the bag with the 3 eighths of an inch seam and that will have taken in all those ratty edges that we had on the, on the outside which we don't want showing because it doesn't look very nice. So I'll just turn the bag through now and just show you what we look. So it's, this is called a French seam. So here we go. So you can see that the outside of the bag has got a nice neat finish and so has the inside of the bag. And because we're not lining it we actually want to have that nice finish on the inside. So those seams are lovely on both sides and there we are. So you have a nice quick and easy bag made from a canvas. You can make it from anything but um, there's some really pretty canvases available now. So if you like this tutorial please give us a, a like and subscribe to our channel uh, for more great tutorials.